Good afternoon and welcome to Lands and Business Outfitters webinar on corporate holiday giving. My name is Jim Kennedy and I'm the Senior Director of Marketing for Lands and Business Outfitters. I'll be the moderator for our half hour discussion today. Before we get started, there's a few housekeeping items I'd like to share so you know how to participate in today's event. We've taken a screenshot as an example of the attendee interface. You should see something that looks like this on your own computer desktop in the upper right hand corner. You've joined the presentation listening using your computer speaker system by default. This means if you can hear music through your computer, you should be able to hear the presentation. If you'd prefer to join over the phone, just select use telephone in the audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed. You have an opportunity to submit text questions to today's presenter by typing your questions into the questions pane of the control panel. You can send these questions at any time during the presentation and we'll collect them and address them during the Q&A session at the end of today's presentation. So let's get started. We've all had it happen. We've received the gift from an employer or vendor and said, what am I supposed to do with this? The items you see on the screen are actual examples of some of the things our customers have received that have left them scratching their heads. So it led us to ask, are beer and oranges really a gift that shows appreciation? And that leads us to our content today. You probably know Land's End Business Outfitters for its quality apparel and tasteful promotional products that are always guaranteed, period. But you might not know that each year we conduct research to understand how our customers view holiday giving, holiday gifting for clients and employees. Today we'd like to share three things. First is a summary of our holiday research that was conducted among 1,100 corporate decision makers. We want to present some ideas about picking the right product at the right price point and some tips and tricks to making the ordering process as simple as possible. There are three presenters with me today. First is Amelia Dunlap. Uh, Amelia is our senior research manager and she'll share a summary of those findings on corporate holiday giving. Next, Shawsey Weinbrenner, our merchandise manager, will share some of our new products as well as some of our annual favorites that might jumpstart some ideas for you this holiday season. Finally, Jerry Bream, our customer service lead, will provide a few tips on how to make the ordering process as simple as possible. So like I mentioned earlier, at the end we'll open up for questions from the audience. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Amelia so she can share our research. Thanks, Jim. As he mentioned, we were curious and wanted to understand how companies are approaching the upcoming holiday season in regard to corporate gifts. We talked to 1,129 corporate decision makers. They varied in size in terms of company, company size. 32% had less than 26 employees. 24% had 26 to 100 employees. 26% had 101 to 500 employees. And 18% had over 500 employees. We spoke to these corporate decision makers between September 6th and 13th of this year. And we spoke to them via an online survey that was available through both an email invite and our website homepage. The first thing I'll take you through is employer to employee gifting. We learned among the people that we spoke to that 63% of employers purchase employee gifts. Among that 63%, 72% plan on spending about the same amount as they did last year. Of that, 79% plan on spending less than 50. Half are spending less than 25. The other half are spending 25 to 50 on their gifts for their employees. The preferred gifts are, in rank order, gift cards, apparel, food, holiday cash and bonus, pet folios and writing instruments, and drinkware. And the reasons that employers give employees holiday gifts are it shows employees that you are appreciative of their efforts, it rewards employees, and it helps boost morale. We also wanted to understand employer to client gifting. Among the people we talked to, that we learned 52% of employers purchase client gifts. Among that 52%, 67 plan on spending the same amount as last year. 46% plan on spending less than 25, and 32% plan on spending 25 to 50. So employers are spending slightly less on client gifts than they are employee gifts. And the preferred gifts to give clients are food at the top, followed by bags and totes, apparel, gift cards, pet folio and writing instruments, and drinkware. The reasons companies are giving clients holiday gifts are it shows appreciation and it strengthens, strengthens relationships. We asked a variety of other ad hoc questions and some of the key, or key findings in general are among the minority of companies that are spending less this year, 
versus last year, the main reason is budget constraints. The key attributes for selecting a gift are price, ability to be logoed or branded, universal appeal, practicality, quality, and quality. And these are all of fairly equal importance. The gift vendor's reputation for quality versus the quality of the gift itself is more important in selecting whom to purchase employee or client gifts from. This was surprising to us, but over half of employers shop for their corporate holiday gifts prior to November. About one-third of the companies we spoke to don't have a holiday um, or corporate holiday gift policy. Those that do say items either need to be under $25 or shared at the office. We also wanted to understand how and if uh, employees and clients are looking forward to receiving gifts. 54% of the clients said they look forward to receiving corporate holiday gifts from vendors. 58% of those we spoke to said they look forward to receiving holiday gifts from their actual employer. The main things that they're looking for are cash bonuses and gift cards, followed by apparel, an extra day off, food, and bags and totes. Almost two-thirds of the individuals we spoke to would rather have a great holiday gift than an office party. And just over half plan on giving their boss a gift. And then among that 56%, they're split between giving an individual gift or a group gift to their boss. Thanks, Amelia. Uh, great information. Quick question for you, though. Uh, you mentioned getting a gift is preferred over a, having a holiday party. Why do you think that is? I think it comes down to the fact that a gift just lasts longer. OK. OK. That makes sense. So, uh, so now we're going to turn over to Shosti, uh, and Shosti is going to share some product uh, information. So I'm excited to talk to you about uh, the product piece of what you're actually going to get, because nothing feels better than when you open up the box uh, at Christmas time and what's going to be inside it. So we really want to make it easy for you to determine what's the best gift that you might be considering for your um, employees or your clients. So we really took the list that Amelia and all the information that we've gathered and have just shared with you um, to outline um, several pages that we want to go through today to just uh, sort of pinpoint and make this experience very easy for you. So the first one we're going to talk today about are uh, sweet, wish, uh, sweet wishes, and really that's about uh, food. So who doesn't love to get um, uh, you know, candy and food at the holiday uh, season? It's really kind of one of those favorite things near and dear to our heart. We offer various price points of um, products that we have offered in the, the food arena um, from our famous peppermint crunch and butter toffee uh, that uh, our customers continue to come back to us year after year up to our uh, more a little bit more expensive popcorn tin that comes with your uh, three different types of popcorn. Uh, but food definitely tops our list and is one of those that's a, a great gift to give not only your employees, but it's also fantastic to give to your clients because it's also one that uh, you can share, and people uh, in getting the client gifts or giving the um, customer gifts, sharing is one of those things that really makes it great because everybody in the office can benefit from it. Moving into bags, bag, bags were also on the top of both of the lists of um, items that people like to get as well as items that they like to give. Um, we think When you think of Land's End, oftentimes you're going to think of the, the classic Land's End canvas tote bag. And, I think we all know somebody who's carrying around that tote bag. Tote bags are, make really great gifts because everybody has a reason to use them. And bags, in general, are really a great place to easily showcase your, uh, your logo, and it really kind of makes for a walking billboard later on. Um, but whether you're looking for a canvas tote up to a really beautiful classic attache, uh, these products are going to be built and durable. That they get to uh, sort of enjoy them for a long time. We're really excited about some of the accessories pieces we've also built into this product category this year uh, with the fantastic wine totes and the uh, electronic covers. So uh, the canvas area and the bags are a really great place to consider for your next gift purchase. Uh, moving into some additional bags that we think are going to be um, fantastic. These are fantastic bags if you're looking to purchase a very large assortment um, or a large quantity. Uh, we have everything from your duffel bags to um, fantastic organization of backpacks and um, business travel bags that you might want to take with them. So uh, if you're looking for uh, a, a large quantity of bags, these are something to consider. Um, and again, it's always great when you can add your logo as a showcase or a centerpiece uh, of that bag. We range here from you know a bag starting for uh, $13 all the way up to 
um, you know, $40. And we also have many in our assortment that we're not showing you today, but we certainly want to make sure that we're focusing on those items that make the most sense for your gift giving time frame. Moving into our lasting impressions, and this is really the product when you have that certain special um, employee that works for you or that special client that you've really got this um, a really great relationship and you want to be extra thankful for them this season for everything that they've done uh, for you throughout the year. So these are beautiful handmade leather um, portfolios, uh, electronics covers um, that you can consider. So from our junior uh, portfolio that will come with a fantastic it, beautiful packaging with a, a pen included and notepad um, up to the zippered portfolio for organization. Uh, they just keep looking better time over time. We can emboss or deboss your logo uh, into these items, um, and it really gives that classic appeal. We've introduced in the bottom left-hand corner, new to this year, our Sherling pieces that are electronic covers that we also think are going to be fantastic. Drinkware. Drinkware, you'll have noticed, is that um, it also is on all of the list that we've been uh, talking about. Uh, what makes drinkware a really great gift is uh, it's one of those uh, gifts that sort of just keeps on giving because you can give it to your employees or you can give it to uh, your clients and they can use it day after day right there in the office space. So whether you're going to give them a classic uh, coffee mug um, or a fantastic um, thermal um, uh, bottle, uh, we have lots of options and lots of fantastic colors and styles uh, that will make yours unique just by applying your logo to it. Uh, new this year to Land's End, we're introducing some Brookstone items that we're layering into our assortment for that, again, extra special person that you might be trying to outfit with something just a little bit nicer this holiday season. Outerwear. Outerwear is synonymous with Land Zen, and it's something that we've done here a long time, and we do it really well. Uh, so uh, our Thermacheck fleece is one of those items that customers come back to us year after year, and they're looking for it. Uh, we've added some accessories items into this assortment this year, so you can start off um, at a price point around $10 for uh, an, a headband or all the way up to um, $30 and $45 can get you a really great jacket that's a fantastic lightweight layering piece. Continuing in the outerwear arena, uh, it, you know, these are for the people that need something that's a little bit more warm. So you might want this fantastic layering piece and a down vest that they can wear over, you know, what they're wearing in the office or uh, fantastic for at home. Um, all the way up to our systems jackets that are a fantastic value at $120 where you get the three-in-one jacket. Um, so outerwear, again, for those people that you know, might be working in a, a position where they're going in and out uh, a lot, and this is a great way to, again, uh, showcase your logo on that product. They can wear it and keep keep them warm um, all year long and a fantastic holiday gift. Polo shirts. Polo shirts are always a fantastic gift for the holiday season. Uh, we offer lots of op um, options um, in colors and styles and fabrics starting as low as $20 and um, moving into our um, beautiful Pima polo shirt um, that it, it is really a fantastic value. And then, of course, gift cards. Um, uh, you will notice on all of the lists from the marketing research that people really like money, um, and this is a great way to give it to them. Uh, you uh, can give them an option, and you know what we found is actually um, what people perceive as the value of a gift card that you might be spending the same amount of money on as whatever gift that you choose. Uh, people perceive that by getting a gift card, they've gotten a little bit extra, and that might just be simply because. Now they get to pick out what they want for their holiday gift this year and get that extra special thing that they might have been looking for. Um, so gift cards are always a great, uh, a great gift idea. Um, keep in mind, we have a, no minimum order quantity for the gift cards. They do not have an expiration date so that they can make a decision two weeks from now or two months from now. Um, but uh, they'll still have that gift card. And we do have volume discounts that will apply uh, to these items. Okay, thanks, Chelsea. Actually, you know, before we move on to Jerry, there's a fair number of questions coming in related to products. So I do want to ask one uh, right now, and this one comes from Alex. And the, and the question is, what is your number one selling holiday item? That's really an easy question to answer because the canvas tote bag is that ultimate holiday gift item. And I think that for several reasons. One, it's fantastic quality. Uh, everybody has a reason to use a tote at some point in time. And it makes it really easy from an ordering experience in that, uh, you don't have a size that you have to, to think about. So uh, the Canvas Tote is really that ultimate uh, great gift to give. All right, great. Uh, so now we're going to turn it over to Jerry. He's going to give some tips and tricks about how to make the ordering process as easy as possible this holiday season. Well, thank you, Joe. 
Yeah, what I want to cover with you today is, you know, the other aspects that you have to deal with of placing your order to applying the logo to just, just how do I navigate the waters to make sure that this is as easy as possible and is almost as enjoyable as giving the gift itself. So, you know, along with the great items that Land's End has to offer, we also provide some wonderful ways to add a personal touch to your gift. So adding your logo to your gift items is a wonderful way to personalize that gift. So while you're working on putting your order together, we recommend you send us your logo artwork so that we can start the process of getting that set up so that we can apply those to the items that you're going to choose. And also to get it set up in the application technique that is best suited for that item. Um, we offer a variety of ways to reproduce your logo with the most popular ones being embroidery, screen print, and debossing as shown here. It's very easy to get us your artwork. The best way is by visiting our website, landsend.com business. We have a page dedicated to you to upload your artwork. And once we receive it, we're going to go ahead and produce that sample of your logo, and we're going to email it back to you for your approval. Um, our consultants are available to you uh, for any questions you have regarding all aspects of that ordering experience, from logo setup to placing the order to ultimately delivering those products to where you want them to go. Um, you know, along with applying your logo to the gifts you choose, you know, we also offer a couple of very special ways to make that even more special. Um, the first one is Land's End gift boxing, and the other one is the enclosure card. With gift boxing, you can have your gift individually placed in a beautifully colored box that is really going to capture that seasonal feeling. Along with this, um, we also offer the option to have an enclosure card placed in the box on which you can convey a personal message to that individual that you're sending it to. You know, another service that we provide is individual or multiple ship twos. What this is, is if you have multiple locations that you're going to individually be shipping a gift, you can actually, we'll take that burden off of you and we'll take care of that. And all you have to do is give us those addresses and what you want to be sent there and we will send to individual locations and break that order up for you. Otherwise, if you want to receive all those items, we're more than happy to do that, and that way you can personally hand out those items to the people you want to give them to. The other important thing that we always have to deal with is timing, and timing is everything. You know, when planning your holiday season with Land's End, we do have some standard time frames that we work with from how long it takes for an order of one's place to get to you to also setting up your logo. Um, just the logo setup alone typically takes around seven to ten business days. You know, and this includes uh, from the time we receive your artwork to where we get it set up in the system and reproduce a sample that which you can see and approve. And we make sure that, you know, in that process that we're going to rep reproduce that with the highest quality that you would want. The order itself uh, with standard time frames can take approximately about the same time frame, about 13 business days. But please don't let any of these time frames deter you from reaching out to us if you need something sooner. Uh, because here at Land's End with our customer service, uh, we can make uh, even the shortest time frame seem possible. All right, thanks, Jerry. Uh, a couple questions uh, have come in, one from Chris. So based on your last comment, uh, sounds like well, how, how soon do I have to order to still receive my product by holiday? Well, or whether it's holiday or your event, um, even up to less than two weeks. But regardless of what your time frame is, uh, please call us because we will do whatever we can to try to meet that deadline. But you know, two weeks ahead of your event uh, would be ideal. Okay. And uh, Allison writes, uh, is there anything I should indicate on my order if you already have our logo from previous? Any information you can give us is, is very helpful. Uh, we do search and we will reach out to you if we have any questions. But if you just simply state, I'd like to use this logo from a previous order, we'll certainly do that for you. If we have any questions, we'll be talking with you to make sure we get it done right. Okay. So there's a logo number or account number or something? Number. There is. If you have uh, any information you have from logo number to your account number to even indicating a, a when you placed it last, uh, any requests will help with, but the better the information, the, the easier it is for all of us. 
Okay. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, now we're going to open it up to other questions. There's still time to submit those through the questions pane in your attendee control panel. Uh, but we do have a few in queue, so I'd like to start with those. Um, and this one, I think, uh, is probably a good one for, for Shosti. Uh, maybe Shosti and Jerry. This is from Sharon. How do you choose the right sizes for a large number of employees? Talking about apparel there, I assume. So uh, this is sort of something that we as a company have to do every day, and we really want to just make it as easy as we can uh, for you. Um, so you may be um, have a preference that you really write, like to reach out to your employees, and they'll kind of have a heads up that, hey, maybe some apparel is coming your way um, to get specific um, measurements or size information um, that we can help you um, get to based on information that we're going to be able to supply you on the website or information that we can send to you. But we also have this handy dandy function on our website that allows us to say, you know, I have this many employees and I'm trying to come up with a, a certain percentage of how will I know how many people are size small to up to a, you know, a, a size extra large. Um, and uh, we are able to turn around and tell you pretty closely uh, what percentages uh, would work to make sure that you have enough of certain sizes uh, to outfit your, your buying group. So uh, we have lots of ways to help you do that. Um, and uh, if you have any questions on that, absolutely contact us um, and we can help you work through that. Yeah, really great information. Our, our website does provide a number of things. And what Shotzi was referring to is what's called a sizing tool. And you can tell us, here's how many people I have, and even gender, and we'll break down the sizes for you. Um, also, as, she, as Shotzi had mentioned, please call us because our customer service reps um, are there to help you and talk through these specific issues to make this as easy as possible. Uh, okay. Thanks, Jerry. Um, another question uh, that I think is, is a pretty good one is, is this is from Lori. What if an employer wants to offer several items for their employees to choose from, so doesn't maybe have a specific one in mind, but wants to offer some options? Uh, how would you address that? Not a problem at all. We've, we've got several em employers in the past that have done that. And what they have done is they've worked with one of our customer service reps to kind of identify what special items that they want to have as a selection. Um, and then they'll present those to their employees. And, and a great way that they can do that is we have a, a really neat tool in the industry uh, called the Company eStore, where they can have a way on our website to go into a dedicated Company eStore and just have only those products on it that they want to have people select from. And then all they have to do is let their people know, hey, go here, here's the URL, pick your item, place your order, and have a great holiday season. All right, perfect. Uh, Shosti, another one from Ann. What's the minimum order quantity on apparel? Uh, we actually don't have a minimum order quantity on our apparel, so that makes it really fantastic that you can just call in, and if you want one or if you want 500, um, we have the ability to outfit no matter what the size of order that you're looking for. Okay. Uh, another one from Michael in Indiana, um, and hopefully you can help with this, but he mentioned understands totes are a best-selling gift. Uh, any specific recommendations in the agricultural service technician field that you could recommend? So my guess is probably something that's going to last and um, be pretty useful and functional there. Absolutely. So um, depending upon you know, different pocketing and things, I think that we have a number of tote bags that we have to offer. And I think that it sounds like you're looking for a very specific um, type of industry that you are in. So the best way to get you into that would be for you to contact us here to say, these are the people that we're going to be using it. This is what they're going to be using it for so that we can make sure we get you into the right fabric. So maybe for your industry, it makes more sense to have something that's made out of nylon instead of cotton. Uh, because it'll easily wipe off if they're going to be carrying it around all over. So uh, I think that we have a, a lot of options for tote bags. Uh, we can uh, make options work for any job, but the best thing to do is contact us to help get you into that right piece. Uh, another question, uh, this one from Molly, asking about uh, if we offer any performance fabrics. Um, I know wintertime is probably not the normal time you think about those, but uh, do we offer those? Uh, absolutely, and we actually have performance fabrics from anywhere from polo shirts to, to outerwear, and performance can um, range from a variety of things. So, uh, for instance, we have um, uh, our active, in our active polo line, so we have shirts that have the ability to wick away moisture, moisture management. We have shirts that um, have the ability to uh, 
keep you smelling fresh all day long with an antimicrobial finish um, that, that just keeps the fabric really great um, no matter what you're doing within it. Um, uh, performance fabrics right now are really something that everybody is looking for, so that will be a top holiday a gift item this year if you're looking for a polo shirt that people are looking for shirts that are going to be comfortable, they're going to be durable, um, and they're going to make them feel great in them all day. Um, whether they're um, if they're sitting at their desk, they're out um, shoveling snow, uh, we're going to have options and styles that are going to work for you in that performance fabric. Okay, great. Uh, quick follow-up actually from Michael in Indiana. Um, so his question is, have 200 employees uh, and are looking to order jackets with, with their names embroidered on them. Mm -hmm. What's the time frame for order and delivery? So maybe Jared? Yeah. If it's, uh, if it's something where you're just having their name monogrammed on them, uh, seven to ten business, well, let me, about 13 business days under our standard shipping. And if you need to sooner, we can absolutely meet that. Uh, if you're also looking then to maybe have your company logo put on with that, um, they're again looking at about that approximately seven to ten business days to get that, uh, the logo set up so that we can apply it to those items. So if you're thinking about that, Please go ahead, as I mentioned, and uh, send us your artwork so we can start working on that while you're putting your order together and getting your sizes. That will greatly cut down on that time frame while okay. you're doing that. All right, great. Uh, one more, um, and this one uh, is from Mindy. And she asked if we have a, an exclusive gift card for Land's End Business Outfitters yet. Um, and Jerry, I'll ask you to answer that one. We don't necessarily have an exclusive gift card for Land's and Business Outfitters, but we do have logo vouchers. Yeah. We, uh, we have other options that if you're looking to give a, a certain amount or a gift, like a gift card with a predetermined amount, um, give us a call because we have several options in which you can do that and then easily have them redeem them here with Business Outfitters or Logo Apparel. Okay. Great. Well, hey, thanks, everyone. We're, uh, we're up against our time limit here, uh, so we'd like to thank you for participating today uh, in today's webinar. If you have any other questions, please contact us at the phone number or email that you see on the screen. Um, once you leave today's webinar, you'll receive a survey on the presentation, and we would appreciate it if you could complete that and provide feedback to us. You'll also receive a follow-up email within the next day or two with a link to view the recording of today's webinar at a later date. So on behalf of our team and be on behalf of Lands and Business Outfitters, we'd like to thank you for joining us today, and we hope you have a fantastic holiday season. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected.